Okay, so let's take a quick look at how we can use track alternatives in combination with our quick swipe comping features. So I've been working on this vocal actually a little while ago, and you can see I've got a lot of my selects already chosen. One of these has a few different swipes happening. Let me play just a little bit of this. Now, because we can't use a lot of our flex pitch options when we have take folders, makes it so we actually have to get rid of these. And one really cool way of doing this is by using the new track alternatives. So I'm gonna turn that on, and now we're gonna duplicate this. So you can see now A and B. And with B, we can come through and flatten and merge. And anytime I need to get back to the original, I can just click on the A alternative and it's all sitting there waiting for me. You don't hear it until you actually go to it, but it's sitting there very accessible. Now I can come through into this track and we can turn on flex pitch and start fine tuning all the notes for this. Ooh, you can see it needs some work for sure. Now, down here, because of the way that this is set up, even though I turned it on, we don't have access to a lot of these features until we take it out of that mode. So that's what you're seeing here is an attempt, but you need to really get it out of the take mode and then we can do that. So saving in an alternative track is one of the best ways to do it because it leaves everything there, doesn't take up any more space, and it's just so easy to revert to it if you need to. Hope you enjoyed this little tidbit. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, share, all of those things. And if you made it to the very end of this video, I think you should consider following the Patreon link and becoming a patron for this channel. We're just getting that rolling. And if you're among the first, you're really going to have some awesome benefits. So consider becoming a patron. That'd be awesome.